Hey, this is Dan with Putz Ponds and Gardens, and you're watching our YouTube channel, Putz Ponds. We get a lot of calls about people that have existing earthen ponds. What's an earthen pond? An earthen pond is a pond, unlike a backyard pond with a liner and decorative uh, goldfish, typically waterfalls. Earthen ponds are ponds without a liner and usually a clay bottom pond. These ponds typically have been treated over the years. Knee jerk reaction treatments, meaning that uh, see a problem, get an instant fix and take care of it. The problem with doing things like that are you're actually contributing to the problem. What I mean by this is the, typically it's algae that people don't want to see in their ponds because it floats to the surface and it, it just doesn't look good. So aesthetics are, are big for people with these type of ponds. Uh, they'll have a floating fountain on them. Um, sometimes they'll have a waterfall attached to them. Um, maybe a bubbler for aeration, down subsurface aeration with a bubbler. But the way that they've been treated for many, many years is a sad, sad state of affairs because the companies that are out there doing this, um, you know, they're, they're licensed by the states and they, they identify the weed, they find a cure, and they take care of it. The problem with doing it that way is when you kill off a plant like algae in a pond, algae is not lifted out of the pond and it ends up sinking down to the bottom. Now, by doing this, um, it turns into excessive nutrient load at the bottom because you've got rotting, decaying algae. Anything that can break down in the pond is food for algae. Leaves that get blown in, um, spraying noxious weeds in a pond, grass clippings, uh, surface ru water runoff. You hear that snoring? It's not me. That's Maggie. Yes, it's you. So where was I? Um, surface water runoff, grass clippings that get blown in when you, when uh, they get blown into a pond. Um, anything that can break down into a pond is food for the next round of algae. So over time, what happens is uh, our ponds get a muck layer in the bottom of them and that muck layer is a big contribution to what we don't like to see as algae. Homeowners don't like to see algae. Nobody likes to see algae. So um, we're going to head over to this pond, do some measurements on it, come up with a solution for their pond and um, we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens. You're watching our YouTube channel, Puts Ponds. So today what we're looking at is an existing earthen pond. And I'm going to show you how in the future we're going to clean this up. And some of the systems that we're going to be implementing on this pond. So here is the pond. Not even a quarter acre. See the algae already starting to form because to me that's mother nature's sixth sense making a making a, a unsightly weed cold water got some ducks on the pond already now in years past the homeowner hired a landscaper to come in and build a waterfall now this wet this landscaper claimed that they were making a wetland filter out of this unfortunately not the case so what we're going to end up doing is, so we're going to put a wetland filter in on this area over here. It's going to come down and it's going to empty back down into the pond. Now we're going to draw our water from the opposite end of the pond over here. Now over here what we're going to end up putting in there is a skim cove. You can see the trees in the surrounding area. Every year these trees lose their leaves and they get blown into this pond. When it does that, they sink after a number of hours 
and when they sink they add to the nutrient load in the bottom of this pond so what it's actually doing is feeding the pond with natural organics that break down and feed all this algae so instead of having to treat this pond and kill off this algae like they've done in the past again what that does is it feeds the pond so when this is chemically treating what I call a knee-jerk reaction to something that's happening to your pond when you're treating this pond and killing off algae the algae gods don't appear and lift it up and take it away it sinks down to the bottom much like the leaves that come from these trees so bye bye mr. duck so the so what's happening is you end up feeding your pond by killing it off or doing that those knee-jerk reactions to a pond so we want to skim the pond of future leaves they're going to go into an intake bay there and then the intake bay will have pumps to supply our waterfall there we'll take our waterfall turn it into a, a real wetland filter it'll return the water now this this isn't going to happen overnight the clarity of this water is not going to improve tomorrow after we implement these systems it's going to take time and in between that time this pond will be treated with natural bacterias sludge busting enzymes that can help speed up that process so that's what we're going to be end up doing here in the next couple months and we'll keep you up on our progress out here thanks <laughs>